Beauty, and The Beast is a 2017 American movie musical romantic fantasy film directed by Bill Condon. The film is a live-action remake of Disney's 1991 animated film of the same name, itself an adaptation of Jean-Marie Leprince to Beaumont's 1756 version of the fairy tale. A live action Beauty and the Beast remake was first announced in April 2014. With an estimated budget of around $255 million, it is one of the most expensive films ever made. The film received four nominations at the 23rd Critics' Choice Awards and two nominations at the 71st British Academy Film Awards. An enchantress disguised as an old beggar woman arrives at a castle during a ball and offers the host, a cruel and selfish prince, an enchanted rose in return for shelter from a storm. When he refuses, the enchantress transforms him into a beast and his servants into household objects, before then erasing the castle and his servants from the memories of their loved ones and everyone else in the town unless the beast can learn to love another and earn their love in return before the last petal of the enchanted rose falls. He will be doomed to remain a beast for the remainder of his days, while his servants become inanimate. Some years later, in the small town of Villeneuve, Belle, the book-loving daughter of a widowed artist named Morris, dreams of adventure. She constantly brushes off advances from Gaston, an arrogant former soldier as he is not the type of man Belle wishes to marry. On Morris's way to the market, he becomes lost in the forest and seeks refuge in the beast's castle.
However, the beast imprisons him when he stole a rose from his garden as a gift to Belle. When Morris's horse returns without him, Belle ventures out in search of him and finds him locked in the castle dungeon. Belle asks the beast to let her take his place. The beast agrees and forces Morris to leave immediately. Belle befriends the castle servants, housekeeper Mrs. Potts, and her son, Chip, who is now a teacup. They invite her to a spectacular dinner. When she wanders into the forbidden west wing and finds the rose, the beast scares her into the woods. Belle is ambushed by a pack of wolves, but the beast rescues her, becoming injured in the process. As Belle nurses his wounds, a spark develops between them. The beast shows Belle a gift from the Enchantress, a book that transports readers wherever they want. Belle uses the book to visit her childhood home in Paris, where she discovers a plague doctor's mask and realizes that she and her father were forced to leave when her mother succumbed to the bubonic plague. Morris fails to convince the other villagers of the beast and Belle's imprisonment. Gaston, seeing rescuing Belle as an opportunity to win her hand in marriage, agrees to help Morris. When Morris learns of his ulterior motive and rejects him, Gaston abandons him to be eaten by the wolves. Morris is rescued by the town hermit Agave, but when he tells the townsfolk of Gaston's crime and is unable to provide solid evidence, Gaston convinces them to send Morris to an insane asylum. After sharing a romantic dance with the beast, Belle discovers her father's predicament using a magic mirror. The beast releases her to save Morris, giving her the mirror to remember him with. At Villeneuve, Belle reveals the beast in the mirror to the townsfolk, proving her father's sanity.
Realizing that Belle loves the beast, a jealous Gaston claims she has been charmed by dark magic and has her thrown into the asylum carriage with her father. He rallies the villagers to follow him to the castle to slay the beast before he curses the whole village. Inside the asylum carriage, Belle tells her father that she knows what happened to her mother and showed him the rose rattle she took from her magical visit to their old, abandoned home. Morris and Belle escape, and Belle rushes back to the castle. During the battle, Gaston abandons his companion LeFou, who then sides with the servants to fend off the villagers. Meanwhile, he attacks the beast in his tower, who is too depressed to fight back, but regains his spirit upon seeing Belle return. He defeats Gaston, but spares his life before reuniting with Belle. However, Gaston treacherously shoots the beast from a bridge, which then collapses as the castle begins to crumble, leading Gaston to fall to his death. The beast then dies as the last petal falls and the servants become inanimate objects. As Belle tearfully professes her love to the beast, Agave reveals herself as the enchantress and undoes the curse, repairing the crumbling castle, restoring the beast and his servants to their human forms and to the villagers' memories. The prince and Belle host a ball for the kingdom, where they dance happily.